Fur Heresy. A dark heresy tale from TG, from a thread about DM smackdowns and other such shenanigans. Our DM smote us. He smote all of us. Dark heresy. We're in the depths of the hive after 10 sessions of tracking down a temple tendency operation to destroy the hive in order to replace every single person of leadership or importance with their seconds, who are temple supporters. We've apparently been listed as dead by the Inquisition and someone has been remotely saving our bacon or doing us favors, all the while leaving us a trail to the temple's operations. We are a 6 strong force of former Arbides hot on the heels of some heresy and level 5 to boot. We have all opted for power mauls, shields, biggest shotguns with exterminator flame projecting single shot modules mounted, out from the darkness steps of furry. He is described by the DM as being regal looking and like a dog but a man yet, and muscular, and wearing a body glove, and armed with two wicked looking weapons. He explains in a voice that is described as noble, strong hearted but weary that he is the person behind us being saved, placed as Mir, as well as the string of clues. He explains he has been hunting the temple tendency and hates the cult for what they did to his race eons ago. He explains he is the last of his race, and that he is slowly dying. Chief Arbite says correction. Dead and we all open up. We murder him with fire. The DM Raja quits. The next week we find out the DM was a closet furry and this was his way of coming out to us. And that DM PC was his avatar. I guess we should have realized it was important when he described every detail of his muscle bound dog man for about 5 minutes. Oh well. Suffer not the mutant. Round 2. DM of the above who Raja quit kinda got upset for a while but eventually found his people and by his people I mean the store's contingent of faux tailed wearing fat people. I have nothing against fat people. But I do have something against people who claim to be fursicated for their lifestyle choice when their lifestyle choice involves being a gigantic douche to anyone who doesn't share their love of really weird shit. Anyhow, he manages to dry his eyes and decides to start all over with a more professionally minded and more serious inquisitorial party. And here I thought I was doing my job, right? I have a gun. A gun that shoots fire. There are things I don't like. I shoot them with gun. Problem solved. His new game that is super serious is closed to people who are not serious role players which means people who are furries are welcome whereas the rest of us must enjoy being normal people who enjoy goofing off. Just when you thought all dorks were united, right? So he says we can join his game if we make serious characters. His party is full of furries playing furries. He explains this as they are from an ancient alien race not chaos that once helped humans but humans turned on them. Blah dee blah dee blah. They have an ancient, secret agreement with the Inquisition per their super secret squirrel arrangement with the Emperor at the start of the Imperium. I realized this could not stand. No furries in my 40k. Chaos abominations are fine. Sure, they're okay. They exist to be burned. Furry race of furries that retcon the whole setting? Not a fucking chance. Not from this guy. When I wore a badge and a gun I had a copy of the uplifting primer in the glove box of my cruiser and damn it all nobody is going to ruin my 40k. Begin operation ruin dark heresy for fur fags at local gamma store and also pick up nachos we are bad at naming things. We infiltrate the game in pieces. Each member playing something the party doesn't have normal humans played by non-brain damaged members of society that actually have jobs and don't live off mommy and daddy as they go to art school. Which they then use as an excuse to draw as much furry porn as possible and mini rant. We rolled up open minded mechanicus monkeys, explaining to the DM that we would honor any ancient treaty no matter what so long as we got first crack at our kitech and shiny bits. He allows us to join. First gaming session is on a table with two of those long bench seats, I'm sure your game store has those. On one side is a coalition of the willing made up of the trio of tech priests, all level 5. On the other side is a bunch of smelly people with fake fur trappings. Their broken characters rolled up and ready by the by. Each stat of theirs due to racial bonuses is made up of the following formula. 30 plus 3d12 and includes special classes such as Dark Reaver and Harvester of Sorrow and other crap that is epic level equipment. Best quality that destroys all armor and has impossible ranges. For example, there's a sword that he invented that is only usable by their race due to their close relationship with nature. This nature alignment allowed them to wield a sword made of what appears to be black, ever-shifting tar that when it strikes you, you take 1d10 damage with no armor or toughness save, per turn, until one of their kind heal you. It's called the Sword of Forgiveness or some other weeaboo shit as they have to forgive you for you to not die. Thanksgiving dinner poop sword notwithstanding, we are ready. Our once awesome now fantastic DM tells the party that we were responsible for the destruction of his last game. They stare at us. 
One growls. One of them actually fucking growled and took his fake tail in his fat sausage fingers and waved it. If people did shit like this a hundred years ago they would be in a place called Wellsville and they would be exploring a land of electroshock therapy, salt baths and colonic irrigation with yogurt. The DM says we will begin our story in that he introduces a rule for everyone at the table. He says anyone who dies in this session is dead for the remainder of the game. No new characters. You just have to watch. All agreed the furries nod. This fat chick with a kind of furry mask thing's chin moves like a sack of cream gravy. It's obvious he told them separately that if they wanted to try to kill us with the uncontrollable to like still wand we would stay dead and they could get broken XP. Not so fast. Fur fags. I looked at the DM and realized my once friend was now just a freaking nutcase, and it was up to me to bring him back to normalcy, or just break his game like a little kid and be a jackass. We are level 5, he has allowed us to take one piece of equipment from the book and 3 reloads. Any piece of equipment, as standard quality, and 3 reloads. What about cyber implants or anything else? No, it's broken, we have to learn it he says. Yet furries have an armor, I shit you not, that is 16 armor on all locations and is made of a silk like substance that changes color based on mood. Yef what coat, eh, we all chose multi melters, I'm sure you know where this is going. 10 minutes into our first adventure, on their spaceship that is way better than any imperial spaceship and is also made out of organic space plants. 10 minutes into a main role playing about how beautiful and unique all of their characters are. 10 minutes into cursing humans and wondering why they have to work with us mechanical men. We decide to gather them all into a room. They gather into this room, a room with a huge on the plated piece of crystal glass, and they offer to tell us the history of their people. The DM beams. He hands a sheaf of papers to the speaker. The speaker of truth apparently, an honored position amongst her clan, tells us of this bizarro 40k history where they are behind everything from the rise of the emperor, the dark age of technology. Giving the Adeptus Mechanicus their tech and keeping all of this a big huge secret. Then they were betrayed. We listen. This goes on for 30 minutes. It is painful. But the moment of glory is at hand. I make the sign of the cog and offer to tell them the history. They call us liars, but we try to tell the real history of 40k as far as human reckoning is. They interrupt us a dozen times over with chants of lies. Lies and howling. Yes, they howled. At the very end I say there is one part to your history you forgot. Human immoloritics and they seem puzzled. The DM seems puzzled. We say the part where you die. We open up with multi meltus, all three of us, overlapping our fields of fire at point blank range. The DM starts screaming at us immediately. The store owner tries to calm him down but he keeps screaming. He turns red, his hands shake. He is furious. We work out damage to the max, as we cannot miss at this range. DM returns 10 minutes later, swearing at us and saying you're all fucking dead, you die, get out of my game, you are fucking vermin so on and so forth. But as we leave he explains that we can't kill them due to the special abilities they all have from their belts that allows them to soak the first 50 points of damage. Something they created to prevent backstabs from imperial assassins sent to cull the last of their numbers. We left and had beer. The end. Epilogue. We started going to the other game store in town. We hear they have their own dark heresy setting called Revenge of the Scattered which the game store owner called Revenge of the Scattered. All based on the above fluff. The mere thought of furries in 40k is fucking disgusting. Like, what is it about furries and them all being like massive marices? All the stories I've done with furries, they all evolve about them thinking that they're, oh, this is my, my amazing alter ego. It's, no, just fucking stop it, mate. It's really cringy. Just calm that shit down. Like, honestly, I, I don't really have anything against furries. Like, you know, for the most part, um, like, you, you do you, whatever you're interested in, I don't really give a fuck. But, the cringe can be a bit overwhelming. It really is. So, like, please, please fucking just stop. All right? Just, it's time to stop, as Filthy Frank would say. It's time to stop! Like, see all that wand shit and trying to shoehorn in this mystical lace and there's only a handful of them left? Like, fuck off. Like, seriously, no, no, not having it. Don't, no, just, just stop. Just fucking stop. It's time to fucking stop. It's time to stop, okay? If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. This... this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This... this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And 
It's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? 